Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about solving rational equations. This video is intended for grade 11 students because a lot of them are requesting me to create a video or another video about solving rational equations in general mathematics. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here is the first example. We have the equation x plus 5 over x minus 9 is equal to x plus 6 over x minus 4. So what we have here, guys, is a rational equation. Basically, in this kind of situation, since we have a rational, equation, rational expression here, and on the other side of the equation, basically, we can use cross-multiplication. Pero hindi yun ang gagawin natin. We will use the LCD to eliminate these denominators. Kasi hindi lahat ng uh, rational equation can be solved by cross-multiplication, kaya baka malito lang kayo. So first, let us identify what is the LCD. So here, the purpose of the LCD, let me give you an idea, is for us to eliminate these denominators. The denominators are x minus 9 and x minus 4. So we will think, what is the LCD if we have two different binomials? Ang gagawin mo lang dyan, simply copy this one into factors. You have x minus 9 times x minus 4. This is your LCD for this problem. So sir, uh, what we're going to do with this LCD? We will multiply this entire equation, or rational equation, using our LCD. So let me show you how, and let me adjust the paper first. So what we have here is x minus 9 times x minus 4. And on the other side, we have x minus 9 times x minus 4. When we multiply this here, as you can see, I will multiply in this LCD here, it will become this one, x minus 9 times x minus 4 times this one, x plus 5 over your original denominator, which is x minus 9. And on the other side, we have x plus 6 times our LCD. We have x minus 9 times x minus 4 over x minus 4. As you can see, we can simplify factors that are the same from the numerator and the denominator. This part can be cancelled out and this also can be cancelled out. On the other side, matatanggal natin to and also this one. So we don't have a denominator na because it's already eliminated. So what we have now is this x minus 4 times x plus 5 is equal to x plus 6 times x minus 9. In this case, you can use the FOIL method and you can do that. Pero ako, idiretso ko na to. This is x squared plus x minus 20 is equal to 0. Kasi pag kinuha natin itong x times x is x squared. Tapos x times 5 is 5x. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. So, 5x minus 4x is x. Negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. Sorry, this is not equal to 0. It's equal to, this is naman x squared minus 3x minus 6 minus times negative 9. That is negative 54. So, how did it came up with x squared minus 3x minus 54? x times x is x squared x times negative 9 is negative 9x. 6 times x is 6x. So that is negative 9x plus 6x. That will give you negative 3x minus 54. And as you can see, on both sides of the equation, meron tayo x squared and x squared. Pag nilipat natin isa dyan, magiging negative. So in tendency, magiging 0 sila. So we can eliminate if meron tayong equal item or term on both sides. So what we have here, ito na lang tayo. Combine natin to x. Then this negative 3x, transpose natin here to the other side. 
from negative 3x it will become plus 3x and for negative 20 equal sign transpose natin magiging positive 20 transpose here then minus 54 as you can see meron tayo ngayon dito 4x is equal to this is negative 34 so what will happen here guys is we will divide both sides of the equation by 4 and by 4 cancel natin to it will give us x is equal to negative 34 over 4 or simplify natin this is negative 17 over 2 and this is the value of x ngayon tignan natin kung maging extraneous root to kasi guys when it comes to rational equation you need to um, be mindful if yung value ng x nyo is an extraneous root kasi kapag pinitan natin tong x natin dito saka dito ng negative 7 over 2 dapat hindi siya magiging 0 because hindi siya magiging solution or ang, ang tawag natin dun ay extraneous root in this case, when you substitute negative 17 over 2 here and here, hindi siya magiging extraneous roots or root. Now, let's continue with another item. Okay? So, here, as you can see, what we have here is x over x minus 2 plus 1 over 5 plus 2 over x minus 2. Siyempre, kailangan natin malaman na what is the LCD. Okay? I will use a pen na lang para mas maging uh, maliit yung ating sulat. The LCD here. I hope nakita pa rin. Since meron tayong parehas na x minus 2, kunin natin yan. Ito ay 5 lang. So, ang ating LCD is 5 times x minus 2. Meaning, this entire expression will be multiplied to the given expression. Or to the given rational equation. Transpose natin. Adjust ko lang ng content paper. Okay. Let's multiply this. By 5 times x minus 2. And this part by 5 times x minus 2. So what will happen, we will multiply this one by one. We have here two terms on the left side. So this will become 5 times x is 5x copy this part, x minus 2 over x minus 2. We're not yet, we're not yet done. Ito rin, multiply natin to. 5 times 1 is 5, so that is plus 5 and then x minus 2 over 5. On the other side, 5 times 2, that is equal to 10. Then x minus 2 over copy your x minus 2. As you can see, makukuha natin purpose natin to eliminate the denominators. We can eliminate this or cancel this out. Also this one. Ito naman, 5 and 5. Also, we can eliminate x minus 2 and x minus 2. So what remains here is that we only have this one 5x here here naman we have plus x minus 2 is equal to on the other side is 10 so tingnan natin mabuti 5x plus x is 6x minus 2 okay then equal to 10 Transpose this negative 2 to the other side will become 6x is equal to 10 plus 2, meaning this is 6x is equal to 12. Divided by 6, cancel, cancel. Yung x natin ngayon is six divi uh, 12 divided by 6, which is equal to 2. Now, as you can see, so I'm going to say from the first part of the video or for, for the first example, check natin if this one is an extraneous root. Now, 
let's substitute x here what will happen it will become this one eh? checking tire at the start x over x minus 2 pa lang when we put this here at x it will become 2 over 2 minus 2 this is 2 over 0 meaning hindi siya pwede guys so anong ibig sabihin nito ang tawag natin dito ay for this 2 is an extraneous root or value of x in other words wala tayong definite solution for this kind of equation okay Pero na-solve natin yung rational equation. So that's it guys. I hope you learned something from this video on how to solve rational equations. Guys, I will give you an example as part of our routine. I will give you a problem wherein you will solve this on your own. And sana makita ko sa ating comment section what is your answer in this problem. Now as part of our routine, I want you to solve... Solve this, x over x plus 3 is equal to 8 over x plus 6. Now guys, what is the value of x in this equation? So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, teacher Gorn. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!